Phew, luckily they haven't flown away and we are looking at three beautiful magpie shrikes. Very long tails as you can see over there every now and again when the wind starts blowing. And they are mainly black with white underparts, but here they're call. Very sad. sounded more like a cry than a call. It sounds very sad, very dramatic, doesn't it? It's almost like they're crying over something. What happened, guys? Did somebody get eaten? Yeah. You were very quiet over there. So it is quite common to find them in, in groups. Sometimes there's maybe four or five of them all together. And there is, there tends to be a dominant pair and they are the ones that, just, that breed and then everybody else just pretty much helps raise the chicks. It could be that they're, you know, doing a territorial call, just letting all the other magpie shrikes know not to come around here. But they tend to hunt from the perch. Jennifer, you're saying it's a beautiful call. I agree, but it's sort of making my heart sore. I find it a very sad call, isn't it? Oh, we've got some other birds that have joined the party. We've got some hornbills, there it is, the red-billed hornbill. Jennifer, you agree with me? Good. I thought maybe I was going crazy and hearing things where there weren't. But we've got, like I said, there was a red-billed hornbill and now a carrot still on top. Advertising everything, it's this beautiful one. I thought maybe one of the other ones had come here. I think maybe they're also scanning the area for any insects that might be down here because I just saw one of them earlier on go all the way down to the ground and then come back up. But this is wonderful. We don't get to spend too much time with these precious birds. Hmm. It's a beautiful concert, isn't it? And that long tail, very distinctive long tail, it makes it very hard for them to fly around. It's almost like they fly with their bum falling down. They have to carry the weight of this tail. Up you go. Well, you definitely singing. You're the one that hasn't shut up. Maybe you know. What do you guys think? Is this a soprano? in the magpie shy world. Okay, hey, you say this is a real life Twitter. Um, yeah, I think it is. It's pretty ironic, isn't it? There we go, the wind's still blowing. You can see the wind is still going crazy by the way that their tails are going in the wind. But it's wonderful. I've never had them stick around for so long in a place where I've been. You're singing by yourself. I think this one's a bit shyer. Now that the other one's gone, then maybe it doesn't feel like it should carry on singing. Project Alpha, you say the female seems higher. Um, pitched in the duet. Well, you can ask Tristan all about it and he would definitely agree with you. Um, but yes, yeah, they, they tend to have slightly different calls. Um, but I think it, it's, it's good to say that in a general rule, some females more than others are more high pitched. I know I probably win the prize, but 
that's the way I was born and I can't really control my voice. <laughs> that's why I stay clear from singing. I don't want to start breaking any glasses. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the concert, guys.